Are you feeling overwhelmed by the constant chatter of your mind? Do you struggle to find inner peace and clarity amidst the chaos of daily life? In this video, we'll explore six powerful habits rooted in Buddhist teachings that can help you cultivate a more focused, resilient, and peaceful mind. Habit 1. Concentrate on doing one thing at a time. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of mindfulness, which is the practice of being fully present in the moment. This means concentrating on doing one thing at a time. In the words of Buddha, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. By focusing on one task at a time, you can improve your concentration, increase your productivity, and reduce stress. When we concentrate on doing one thing at a time, we are essentially practicing the art of mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully engaged in the present moment, devoid of distractions or worries about the past or future. It's about immersing ourselves completely in whatever task is at hand, giving it our full attention and energy. By focusing on a single task, we can bring our awareness to the present moment and experience a sense of deep concentration. This level of concentration not only enhances the quality of our work, but also allows us to tap into a state of flow where time seems to slip away and we become fully absorbed in what we're doing. When we dwell on the past or worry about the future, we rob ourselves of the richness of the present experience. By focusing our attention on the task in front of us, we can cultivate a sense of mindfulness that brings clarity, efficiency, and a deeper connection to our actions. When we try to juggle multiple tasks simultaneously, our attention becomes divided, leading to a decrease in the quality of our work and an increase in errors. On the other hand, when we focus on a single task, we can devote our full cognitive resources to it, resulting in better outcomes and a more efficient use of our time. Concentrating on doing one thing at a time can help reduce stress and overwhelm. When we constantly switch between tasks or worry about what needs to be done next, we create a sense of mental clutter that can be draining and anxiety-provoking. By immersing ourselves in the present moment and giving our full attention to one task, we free ourselves from the burden of multitasking and allow ourselves to experience a sense of calm and presence. Practicing the habit of concentrating on doing one thing at a time also fosters a deeper sense of awareness and connection to our actions. When we are fully present in what we're doing, we can engage more deeply with the task at hand, appreciate its complexities, and find joy in the process itself. This level of mindfulness not only enhances the quality of our work, but also enriches our overall experience of life. In a world that often glorifies business and multitasking, the simple act of focusing on one thing at a time may seem like a radical shift. However, by embracing this habit and cultivating a practice of mindfulness, we can unlock a wealth of benefits that extend beyond productivity to encompass greater clarity, peace of mind, and a more profound connection to the present moment. By learning to concentrate on doing one thing at a time, we can tap into the power of our minds and experience the transformative impact of living with intention and awareness. Habit 2. Make sure to take breaks to exercise. Buddhism teaches the importance of balancing physical and mental health. Regular exercise is not only good for your body, but also for your mind. It can help reduce stress, improve mood, and enhance cognitive functions. So, make sure to take breaks from your work or studies to engage in some form of physical activity. Remember, a healthy body houses a healthy mind. Doing physical activities can help reduce stress. Stress is a common thing in our busy lives nowadays. It happens because of all the things we need to do every day and the pressure from outside. This can make us feel anxious and stressed out. But when we take time to exercise, we give ourselves a break from all that stress. It helps our minds relax and feel better by doing something physical. When we exercise, our bodies release chemicals called endorphins. They make us feel good and happy, which helps fight against stress. 
The act of engaging in physical activity holds the transformative power to uplift our moods and cultivate a positive outlook on life. Exercise acts as a natural mood enhancer, capable of lifting us out of periods of emotional stagnation and imbuing us with renewed vigor and vitality. As we partake in physical endeavors, whether it be a brisk walk, a challenging yoga session, or a full body workout, we awaken dormant energies within us, fostering a sense of optimism and resilience in the face of life's adversities. The simple act of moving our bodies not only invigorates us physically, but also stirs a sense of inner joy and satisfaction, painting our world in brighter hues. Beyond this impact on our emotional well-being, engaging in regular physical activity contributes significantly to sharpening our cognitive abilities and enhancing our mental acuity. Studies have shown that exercise plays a pivotal role in promoting brain health, boosting memory retention, and improving overall cognitive function. By allocating time for exercise amidst our daily routines, we are effectively nourishing our brains with the vital nutrients and oxygen they require to function optimally. Physical activity stimulates the growth of new brain cells and fosters the formation of neural connections, thereby enhancing our capacity for learning, problem-solving, and creative thinking. The practice of taking breaks to exercise serves as a testament to our commitment to self-care and self-love. By incorporating regular exercise into our schedules, we are demonstrating a deep-seated respect for our bodies and minds, acknowledging their intrinsic worth and nurturing them with the care they deserve. This act of self-care transcends the physical realm, permeating into our emotional and spiritual dimensions as we cultivate a profound sense of self-awareness and inner harmony. The habit of taking breaks to exercise epitomizes the holistic approach that Buddhism advocates in the pursuit of a more powerful mind. It underscores the inseparable connection between our physical bodies and mental states, urging us to treat them as interconnected facets of our holistic well-being. Through the simple act of moving our bodies, we not only strengthen our physical health, but also fortify our mental resilience, emotional well-being, and spiritual vitality. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery and self-transformation, let us heed the wisdom of this profound habit and embrace the transformative power of exercise in nurturing a more powerful mind. Habit 3. Take a little time each day to relax and clear your mind. Meditation is a simple practice that involves focusing your attention and eliminating the stream of jumbled thoughts that may be crowding your mind and causing stress. It is about being present in the moment and letting go of worries and distractions. By sitting quietly and breathing deeply, you can create a space for clarity and peace within yourself. Taking just a few minutes each day to meditate can have profound effects on your mental health and well-being. It allows you to step away from the chaos of daily life and connect with your inner self. In the fast-paced world we live in, where we are constantly bombarded with information and stimuli, finding this moment of stillness can be incredibly powerful. When you clear your mind through meditation, you create a sense of calm that can stay with you throughout the day. This calmness can help you make better decisions, improve your focus, and enhance your overall sense of well-being. By taking the time to relax and clear your mind, you are giving yourself the gift of mental clarity and emotional balance. Additionally, regular meditation practice can help reduce stress and anxiety. When you quiet your mind and let go of negative thoughts, you can experience a sense of inner peace that can translate into a more peaceful and harmonious external environment. By cultivating a peaceful mind, you can approach challenges with a sense of mindfulness and resilience. Moreover, meditation can help you cultivate self-awareness and emotional intelligence. By paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your reactions to various situations. This self-awareness can lead to greater personal growth and development as you become more in tune with your inner self. 
Meditation can improve your concentration and focus. By training your mind to be present in the moment, you can enhance your ability to concentrate on tasks and be more productive. This can be particularly beneficial in a world where distractions are abundant and maintaining focus can be a challenge. In addition to these mental and emotional benefits, meditation has also been shown to have positive effects on physical health. It can help lower blood pressure, improve cardiovascular health, and boost the immune system. The mind-body connection is a powerful one, and by taking care of your mental well-being through relaxation and clearing your mind, you can positively impact your overall health. By incorporating this simple yet profound practice into your daily routine, you can experience greater clarity, peace, and well-being. As you cultivate a calm and focused mind, you can navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Remember, as Buddha said, meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. So, take the time each day to sit quietly, breathe deeply, and connect with your inner self. Your mind will thank you for it. Habit 4. Find moments to take care of yourself. Self-compassion lies at the core of this habit. It involves treating oneself with kindness, understanding, and acceptance. Just as we would show compassion to a friend in need, we must also extend that same compassion towards ourselves. This means acknowledging our own struggles, weaknesses, and limitations without harsh self-judgment. By cultivating self-compassion, we can build a stronger foundation for self-care and overall well-being. Taking care of yourself encompasses various aspects of your being, physical, mental, and emotional. Each of these dimensions plays a crucial role in your overall health and happiness. Neglecting any one of them can lead to imbalance and turmoil in your life. Therefore, it is essential to find moments throughout your day to nurture all aspects of yourself. Starting with physical self-care, it is important to prioritize activities that promote your physical well-being. This includes maintaining a healthy diet, engaging in regular exercise, getting an adequate amount of sleep, and attending to any physical health concerns. Our bodies are our vessels through life, and taking care of them is essential for our overall vitality and longevity. Mental self-care involves engaging in practices that support your cognitive and emotional well-being. This can include activities such as meditation, mindfulness, journaling, or engaging in hobbies that bring you joy and mental relaxation. Giving yourself moments of mental rest and rejuvenation can help reduce stress, increase focus and clarity, and enhance your overall mental health. Emotional self-care focuses on nurturing your emotional needs and fostering a sense of emotional balance and resilience. This can involve expressing your emotions in a healthy way, seeking support from loved ones or a therapist, setting boundaries in relationships, and engaging in activities that uplift your mood. By acknowledging and tending to your emotional well-being, you can cultivate greater emotional intelligence and inner peace. Finding moments to take care of yourself doesn't have to be a grand gesture or take up a significant amount of time. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths in the midst of a busy day, going for a short walk during your lunch break, savoring a cup of tea in the morning, or spending a few minutes journaling before bed. The key is to identify moments throughout your day when you can pause, reconnect with yourself, and engage in activities that replenish your energy and spirit. By incorporating the habit of finding moments to take care of yourself into your daily routine, you are not only prioritizing your well-being, but also setting the foundation for a more fulfilling and balanced life. Remember that self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Just as a car needs regular maintenance to run smoothly, our minds and bodies require care to function at their best. By embracing self-compassion and making self-care a consistent part of your daily routine, you can enhance your physical, mental, and emotional health. Ultimately, by nurturing yourself, you are better equipped to navigate life's challenges with resilience, clarity, and grace.
Habit 5. Set limits and stick with them. When we talk about setting limits, we are referring to establishing boundaries or restrictions within various areas of our lives. This could involve regulating our use of technology, managing our time efficiently, defining our personal space in relationships, or adhering to a healthy lifestyle. Setting boundaries is essential to safeguarding our mental and emotional well-being. By defining limits for ourselves, we create a framework that guides our actions and decisions in alignment with our values and goals. Setting limits is not merely about creating rules for ourselves. It is also about the conscious act of building self-awareness. Through the practice of setting limits, we learn more about our strengths and weaknesses, our triggers and our boundaries. This self-awareness is a powerful tool that enables us to make informed choices and navigate through life with clarity and focus. Equally important to setting limits is the commitment to sticking with them. It is one thing to establish boundaries, but it is a distinct challenge to remain dedicated to upholding them consistently over time. This requires resilience, determination and integrity. When we commit to honoring the limits we have set for ourselves, we demonstrate self-respect and discipline. Sticking to our limits allows us to cultivate discipline, which is the foundation of personal growth. Discipline is the ability to control our impulses, stay focused on our objectives, and resist distractions that may derail us from our path. By exercising discipline in adhering to our limits, we develop the strength of character needed to overcome obstacles and persevere in the face of challenges. Buddhism teaches us that self-discipline is a virtue that leads to inner mastery and liberation. The Buddha himself emphasized the importance of conquering oneself, stating that one who triumphs over their own desires and attachments is a greater hero than those who achieve outward victories. This profound insight underscores the transformative power of self-discipline in shaping our lives and fostering spiritual growth. By setting limits and sticking with them, we cultivate mindfulness and self-control. We become more attuned to our thoughts and actions, allowing us to make conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. This practice of mindfulness enables us to break free from harmful habits negative patterns and distractions that hinder our personal development. When we commit to upholding our boundaries, we send a clear message to ourselves and others that we value our well-being and prioritize our growth. This integrity not only fosters more harmonious relationships, but also deepens our connection with our true selves. By embracing this habit, we empower ourselves to create a more fulfilling and balanced existence. Through the practice of setting limits and honoring them, we cultivate the inner strength and resilience needed to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Habit 6. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. Buddhism teaches the importance of community and interdependence. This means recognizing that we are not alone and that it's okay to ask for help when we need it. Whether it's seeking advice from a trusted friend consulting a mental health professional, or joining a support group, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Remember, it's not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. When we talk about not being afraid to reach out for help, we are essentially acknowledging that we are vulnerable beings, susceptible to a myriad of emotions and experiences. It is crucial to understand that asking for help is not a sign of weakness, but rather a demonstration of strength and courage. By reaching out for help, we are showing resilience and a willingness to confront our challenges head-on instead of allowing them to overwhelm us. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is the concept of interconnectedness, often referred to as interdependence. This notion suggests that all beings are connected and dependent on each other for their well-being and existence. By recognizing our interconnectedness, we come to understand that seeking help and support from others is a natural and integral part of life. We are not meant to face our struggles in isolation, but rather in collaboration with others who can offer guidance, wisdom, and compassion. There are various ways in which we can reach out for help when needed. 
It may involve seeking advice from a trusted friend or family member who can offer a listening ear and a fresh perspective on our situation. In some cases, it may be beneficial to consult a mental health professional, such as a therapist or counselor, who can provide professional guidance and support tailored to our specific needs. Additionally, joining a support group or community of like-minded individuals can create a sense of belonging and camaraderie, where we can share our experiences and learn from others who have walked similar paths. It is important to remember that reaching out for help is not a sign of failure, but rather a proactive step towards self-improvement and growth. Admitting that we need assistance and seeking support demonstrates humility and a willingness to learn from others. It allows us to tap into the collective wisdom and experience of those around us, gaining valuable insights and perspectives that can help us navigate through life's challenges more effectively. By cultivating the habit of not being afraid to reach out for help, we cultivate a mindset of openness, vulnerability and receptivity. We create space for genuine connections to form, deepening our relationships with others and fostering a sense of unity and solidarity. We let go of the notion that we have to bear our burdens alone and instead embrace the idea that we are stronger together capable of facing any obstacle when we stand united. By embracing our interdependence and acknowledging our vulnerability, we pave the way for personal growth, resilience and healing. Let us not shy away from seeking support and guidance from those around us, for in doing so, we affirm our humanity and strengthen the bonds that connect us all in this journey called life. Overall, Cultivating a powerful mind involves more than just intellectual pursuits. It involves mindfulness, physical health, relaxation, self-care, self-discipline, and the courage to seek help when needed. By incorporating these six habits into your daily life, you can strengthen your mind and enhance your overall well-being, in line with the spiritual teachings of Buddhism.